Mr. Prime Minister. Very good to see you. Very good to see you again. Please have a seat. Welcome to Athens, especially in the spring, yeah, and especially at a time when uh, things with the pandemic seem to be moving uh, in the right direction. As you know, we have significantly accelerated our vaccine program. Cases are coming down, and we are ready to open for uh, tourism as of uh, uh, this uh, weekend. As you know, yeah. tourism is very important. Um, the plane, I arrived yesterday. The plane was pretty full. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's, that, 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 that's, that's good news. And uh, I'm also quite optimistic about the recovery prospects of the Greek economy, both for this yeah. year, next year, but also in the medium term. And the one thing I want to, to stress is that uh, during the pandemic, we never stopped doing the necessary reforms to ensure a sustainable and inclusive recovery post-pandemic. Uh, uh, and now that we also have the additional I funds. What you told me last year in March, mm -hmm. you said the pandemic it was just starting. Mm -hmm. It's not a reason to stop reforms, but to accelerate reforms. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that I always stuck in my mind. Well, that's exactly what we did, especially in terms of structural reforms, making Greece more attractive. Uh, as an investment destination uh, in agreement with the institutions, uh, reducing uh, taxation uh, in a sustainable and long-term uh, manner, uh, and um, of course uh, advancing the digital transformation of the Greek state, while at the same time also intervening in the banking sector, which I know is an issue of great importance to you. Very happy with the uh, share capital increase in, uh, in Piro's Bank and the pace of reduction of non-performing loans. So, we're, cau we're cautiously optimistic about uh, uh, the, the future and uh, looking forward to a very fruitful cooperation, as we've always had. Yeah. Because I think, indeed, there are a number of good indicators under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we know that challenges are there um, for all European countries, um, including Greece, but not only Greece, but all. Um, and um, we will talk about that. Um, so it will not be easy for any government. Um, to implement all the good plans that have been prepared, um, which is important um, at this juncture. Implementation will be the key now. Mm, yeah. Yes, and that's what we're going to be focusing on. We've submitted a plan, as you know. We have additional significant funding, which was not available when we, um, <laughs> when we last uh, uh, met. We yeah. intend to invest these funds wisely uh, uh, in, in productive investments, but also uh, in reform, and we're looking forward to having our, our plan approved amongst the, the first ones, hopefully before the end of June. Yeah, I think Greece was the second country to submit it to the Commission. Yeah. I saw that Commissioner Gentiloni said the priorities are right mm -hmm. um, when he appeared at the Delphi conference, where I will also speak tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a good plan, um, and Implementation will be the key issue, but um, I know that you and your government agree on that. Mm -hmm.